Now, I know for sure these aren't mine. Are you you lying. Have to leave. So I jump out the window. You know what I'm saying? Naked? No, I put all my stuff. I mean, this is turning into Fifty Shades of Paternity. <laughs> Your ex to come be with me because you couldn't get enough of being around me. What are you talking about? Okay. In this episode, a woman drops a bomb on her best friend. She thinks he is the biological father of her three-year-old son. He claims the father is her ex-fiance. Here's why he has his doubts. One day I went out to her house. I brought some drinks out there. We get to right. drinking, you know what I mean? And so as I'm drinking, you know, one thing, she came, first of all, she came to the door with a short skirt on, you know? So she get up and go to the door and peep out the peephole. And I'm guessing it was one of the stalkers or one of her boyfriends. Exactly, you don't even or, know. Unknown, but she lying. didn't open up the door. As the person kept knocking on the door, here's what he did next. So somebody said, at the said, door, you, you lying. Leave. So I jump out the window, you know what I'm saying? Naked? No, I put on all my stuff, I jump out the window. So you I put on your clothes, then jumped out the window. I put on my clothes, then jump out the okay. window. Okay. And then If I he's jumped. that afraid for his life, he wouldn't go back to her place again, right? Well, you're wrong. I on Facebook, she said, come out here. Like, to come see me, you know what I'm oh. saying? So Although he went, he was cautious too. She came downstairs. I don't know why you she came downstairs lying. with the baby in her hand, and she could have told me right then and there. And I asked. And you her, holding the I'm baby? Holding, I'm holding the baby. And I, you're looking at him, and I'm you looking. don't see your face? No, no. From the previous time I came. Well, you there. you didn't so look at the baby and just say, I, "Oh my goodness, this baby looks baby. just like me." Here's Mrs. Payne's response. Miss Payne, she, what went through your mind when you decided to call and tell him? My son, he's three years old now and he needs to know who his dad is. It's not about us, it's about him. Why would you wait three years to say because that? Because I knew that's you was foolish, gonna act man. the Come same on, way you're acting that's, now. That's not this right, that's not right, This man tarnished my though. name that's and right. everything. Wait, when in reality, it's about, that's not true it's not all, about us anymore, it's that's about this little all. boy. That's so you should have been a man and was ready to get the DNA test going and get to the bottom of it. She has a fiance she has sex with apart from Mr. Lawrence and she prepared a calendar for that. All right, so in your statement to the court, you said you prepared a calendar. Yes, you have I that calendar? I sure do. So the yellow are the days that you were intimate with your fiance at the time. Yes. On the 8th, you broke up with your fiance and then on the 10th, you got together with Mr. Lawrence. Although the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, and 16th, you were with your fiance again. Yes. We get back together. Mr. Lawrence, as you look at this calendar, do you see how you fit in this picture? <laughs> the results are in. The case of Lawrence versus Payne when it comes to three-year-old Antonio. Mr. Lawrence, you are not the father. What the judge says next is hilarious. There's obviously a color missing out of your box of crayons. Hilarious excuses and evidence is what you'll get from this next episode. Rumors and incriminating evidence led a man to question the paternity of his fiance's nine-month-old son. He refuses to move ahead with their plans to legally wed until he's proven to be the biological father. Herman, can you please tell the court, how did you meet Miss Sanchez? Uh, well, we met on Tinder. And I'm swiping, I'm swiping, and I came across her profile, and I super like. So super like is when it goes directly to them so they know somebody likes you. And so she liked me back, we connected. We were supposed to hang out the first night and she declined because she was with somebody else she met from Tinder. So the second night is when we actually hung out. She came over, um, we had some drinks, one thing led to another and we had sex the first night. The first night you met? Yes, it was the first night. That's definitely a super swipe Super like whatever you called it. After the sex, they both had different ideas on what their relationship meant. So I huh? felt that we were exclusive, but me and her had two different ideas of what talking is. To me, talking is... What? No, what does talking even mean? I talk to a lot of people. What does that mean? That means nothing to me. We had no no ground See, rules. That's, that's where a lot of the trust issues came in because I'm thinking one way, she's thinking another way. How many people was she talking to? So how many conversations did you have open when you were with Mr. Turbo? Exactly. We were just talking. Oh, I don't... So I'm right, you was on the party line and you had stopped swiping. Yes. And you was on automatic swipe. When asked if he had any physical evidence, the evidence had the courtroom in stitches. Did you ever get any physical evidence that Miss Sanchez was with someone else? Yes, yeah, Sharon, I did. So we went to the grocery store 
We went to the grocery store and um, we came back. So I go to the trunk to get the groceries or whatever. And I find men's boxers in the trunk. Now, I know for sure these aren't mine. I'm like, whose are these? These are not mine. What? So. Jerome, you want to go get it? They wash it? <laughs> yeah, I'll get it. Oh, you know I'm a germaphobe. Put it on this pen. <laughs> Exhibit A. <laughs> Men's boxers. Here's the excuse she gave. Miss Sanchez. How did these men's boxer shorts get in your trunk? Okay, because I had done laundry at my family member's house. I have male family members, and that's a lie because... But a whole pair of men's boxer shorts is the one thing in your trunk out of all the laundry? That's an unfortunate coincidence. <laughs> but gotcha. that's exactly what happened. That's it. That's Here's the result. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Terman, you are the father. <laughs> From sharing too much to threesome, this episode has everything. So, Mr. Adel, what do you mean she broke the terms of the relationship? Your Honor, we have, we have certain rules. We're swingers, you know, and... Um, okay. And she went outside of the relationship, she cheated on me, and now she's trying to pin the baby on me. So wait, Things get interesting. The first time you all have this threesome, what happens? I mean, I know what happens, I guess, but... <laughs> I, well, I really don't, but I, I don't know if I want to know. Who finds the people? How, how does that start? Um, well, the way we did it was uh, we put an ad out online. An uh, ad online? Yes. We, we what would an ad like this say? For them to choose a threesome partner, they go through a process. All right, so tell me what, what happened. I mean, you just say they answered the ad and now you can come over? How does that work? By talking to someone through text message or email, I can tell whether they're intelligent or they're, or they're a, a bird brain, you know? So I... And I, so for something like this, do you want someone intelligent or a bird brain? I don't I know would, which one I would like better. someone to be intelligent, yeah. We oh, had some drinks. She had told me that she was comfortable. Yeah. We had given oh. her a body massage. Then, uh, then we took her from there. We, uh, he went on her. Um, I asked, I guess. <laughs> the details were too much for Judge Lauren. I so. feel like the testimony now is very specific. <laughs> a little... I mean, this is turning into Fifty Shades of Paternity. I'm already working on the screenplay in my head. So the bottom line is, is it happened. I don't need the details in that way. It happened. And Miss Jones, did you have intercourse with both men that night? Yes. You did. Right. Yes. So why did she cheat? What happened with this other man? Why decide to have sex with this other man without Mr. Adel? I felt neglected. He would leave many hours of the night, sometimes even days. And when I would ask him where he was, he would tell me it's none of my business. So, I turned around and went out with one of his friends, had a couple drinks, and one thing led to the next. We used the condom, I remember. The results are in. Next It up. has been determined by this court. Mr. Adel, you are the father. I told you. This man thinks his side woman's child is not his. His testimony is hilarious. Miss Sales, you claim that you and the defendant, Mr. Jackson, were in a serious relationship and it was his idea to have a baby. But now that your three-year-old daughter, Micaiah, is here, he denies being her father. Mr. Jackson, you claim that Miss Sales is a former side chick who is trying to pin a baby on you only because she wants you back in her life. You are certain you are not her daughter's father. Before paternity was a Dressed, they couldn't agree on what the relationship was. Mr. Jackson, she said you were in a five-year relationship. Is that true? No, ma'am. What were you doing? Huh? You know, she was like my side woman. Your side woman? She was your side woman. Bye. It's your testimony. You weren't in a relationship at all. I mean, we had a relationship, but it wasn't serious, you know. We... You left your <laughs> ex to come be with me. How was we not it in was, a relationship? It was, it was more of, you know, she had great sex. Uh, Oh, I put it on him and he could never leave. 
I mean, it, it, mm. He felt the timeline of her pregnancy created doubt and tried to prove it to the court. So is it your testimony that you didn't have sex from June <laughs> when you broke up with Miss Sales all the way in July, yes. nor in August, yes, nor in September? He's no lying. He just said he loved it. Why would he stop? He is lying. I mean, he looked like he lying. I don't even have I'm, to say I'm, it. I'm, I'm, <laughs> when she told him she was pregnant, she didn't want a DNA test. We what on, did we, she do? We was on our way going, uh, you know, we was uh, a few blocks away whatsoever. She started crying. I guess I was, I guess she seen me more serious about it because I've been saying I supposed to be getting a DNA test for a while. And then what happened? We left. Why? It was just too much at the time. What know? do you mean too much? I, this lie is too much. I we got to the building. Listen, Your Honor, you know, I wanted to take it, but I also wanted to listen to what she had to say at the end of the day, because... And because you're such a nice, sweet, humble young man... <laughs> yes, Your Honor. You just decided, I don't want to hurt this young woman's feelings and go back home to Miss Sales to only have sex with her and continue <laughs> to devalue her. He felt pity for the child and just didn't want to take a DNA test. And I seen her break down, so it really made me like, ah, I, I could be tripping. Sounds like you did care about Miss Sales. I cared about it a little bit, but not too much. Tough. I'm confused. You ain't finna keep standing here talking about something. Listen, it was about some sex. Hold on. I've been in love since the day you met me. What are Man, you saying? On, That's why you left your ex to come be with me, because you couldn't get enough of being around me. What are you talking about? Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready, <laughs> I'm ready for the results now. <laughs> it's time for the results. When it comes to three-year-old Micaiah Jackson, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jackson, you are the father. <laughs>